Hi, I'm Nathan Tannenbaum, and these are just some of the stories coming soon to a Las Vegas Review Journal near you. Lawyers for Dr. Deepak Desai, owner of Endoscopy Clinics, shut down in the wake of last year's potential exposure of 40,000 patients to hepatitis C because of unsanitary procedures. Well, those lawyers say that any trial Desai faces should not be held in Clark County. The Review Journal will keep you posted on any change of venue motion. You know, Las Vegas started getting used to saying they were living in the fastest growing city in the country. Now we know that's no longer the case, although new numbers from the U.S. Census Bureau show less people moving anywhere. Although there has been growth on some big cities along the West Coast, Los Angeles, San Francisco, Portland, Seattle. Look for more on this in Wednesday's paper as well as your online review journal. The too easy headline would go something like, when Mike Montandon says he's running for governor, he really means it. But we're not going to go down that road. It's too easy. We will tell you that Tuesday, Montandon, who is leaving the North Las Vegas mayor's chair because of term limits, promised a run from his soon-to-be former office to his gubernatorial campaign headquarters. Last we checked, incumbent Governor Jim Gibbons had every intention of going for a second term with some interest also expressed by former state senator, Republican Joe Heck. You know the city of Las Vegas turned 100 four years ago. Well, the county's been working hard to make sure you know that its centennial is this year. Those efforts include a mural just posted on a wall outside the Winchester Community Center over Papecos and Desert Inn Road. We hope you've also noticed the historic photos printed every Saturday in the Review Journal. Three words that pop up every year at this time that I must confess don't sound quite right to me. Safe and sane. If you say them real fast, it's really hard to know what you're talking about, safe and sane. Even when you slow down, you still have to think about it. Safe and sane. Well, it's supposed to be a catchphrase for the legal fireworks that are sold in Las Vegas as opposed to the illegal explosives sold elsewhere, like Nye County or the uh, Moapa Reservation up at Valley Fire State Park. Well, Tuesday, the Clark County Fire Department held its annual display of just how easy it is for something to go wrong with fireworks and the value of staying safe and sane. Speaking of fireworks, though, how about getting into the heat of the kitchen on this 4th of July weekend? It's Wednesday, time for the every midweek special section, taste where this week Heidi Naprinella dives into the melting pot that is America for a look at fiery foods. Mmm, where's my habanero sauce? <laughs> you know, every weekend seems like a blockbuster in Las Vegas with superstars of every music genre stopping by for a concert. Can you imagine the goings on this weekend? Stand back! Here's Vegas Land's Doug Elfman with a bullet point rundown. The 4th of July weekend is jam-packed in Las Vegas. We'll get Jay-Z, Jamie Foxx, Stone Temple Pilots, Chester Bennington from Lincoln Park, Bill Maher, Kathy Griffin, LeBron James goes clubbing, and fireworks, fireworks, fireworks. That's all coming up on Vegas Land Video in just a flash. To hear lots more about all of that, you want to check out the whole big Vegas Land Video that comes out every week with entertainment writers Mike Weatherford and Jason Braceland, movie critic Carol Kling, and restaurant guru Heidi knapp -Runell. It's playing next on our multimedia page, or a click away from the ReviewJournal.com homepage. A couple of quick sports notes you might want to follow up on with the full reports in print and online. Columnist Ed Graney on the Las Vegas 51's President and General Manager Don Logan thinking about the thousands of fans who lined up to see Manny Ramirez play a couple of games for the Dodgers AAA Minor League Club last week in Albuquerque, New Mexico. You may or may not know the 51's were the Dodgers AAA affiliate for several years until the city refused to fix up Cashman Field and the Dodgers followed through on their promise to leave town. And the Las Vegas Wranglers hockey team introducing their new coach Tuesday, Ryan Mouginel, replaces the only coach the franchise had ever known, Glenn Gullitson, moving up to run a higher level minor league hockey club. The weather forecast starts with a return to a previous version of more of the same. That's those continuing chances for isolated, widely scattered showers and or thunderstorms running this time through Friday. Once again, little or no accumulations expected, but you will see so many storm clouds at times that you wish it would do something. We could sure use the rain. High temperatures staying a few degrees either side of 100, overnight lows in the low to mid-80s. And the 4th of July weekend still looking hot and dry. For breaking news 24-7, you're at the right spot. ReviewJournal.com. <laughs>